Welcome back to Charlottesville for ESPN Thursday Night Showcase presented by T. Rowe Price. A first half dominated by the Tar Heels. North Carolina looking for its first ACC win, leading Virginia by 14 points. Dave Pash, Bill Raftery, and Raft Boy. Transition offense for North Carolina, a thing of beauty, isn't it? Uh, it's unbelievable. and it, It's so well rehearsed and practiced, and now they seem to have that same feel we saw earlier in the year. Guys getting out, unselfish play, bigs getting to the rim. Uh, just coordinated in an extraordinary, efficient fashion. You know, jump shots leading to runouts, six turnovers helping that cause, good checkouts, the extra pass, just solid Carolina basketball. Virginia now, a little more patience on offense, get better looks and get balance, and the bigs have to run back. Tyler Hansbro is starting the second half with a slightly hyperextended left elbow. As if on cue, the Tar Heels with another transition hoop. 14 assists on 16 baskets tonight. That scare you? And that is so solid. Pretty good first half for Ty Lawson. No turnovers and four assists. Remember, he had struggled in that department in the previous two conference games. Mm -hmm. Send with a rebound off the Deani miss. Look at this play to passing lane. Landisburg just one out of six in the first half. Starts the second half the same way. Here's Deani. Now that's not Landisburg's game yet. It will be. You mix it up. Hansbro double team. Got it out to Lawson. Hit a couple threes in the first half. Knights through two defenders. Zaglinski clears for Virginia. Uh, nice play by Scott with the slap away. Deani, two of 28 now from three-point land. Scott is there, though, with the putback. Boy, he's an excellent offensive He rebound. sure is. Uh, understands position, timing, and also an innate ability to get it. He's got five offensive rebounds, leads the conference in that category. Nice pass by Lawson to Deion Thompson. Oh, is he tough, that kid? And delivery on the money when the guy's free. Dave wants ball movement and body movement. And yeah, they got caught into a running game with North Carolina in the first half, not what Leto wanted. Zaglinski from the corner. Another missed three. Boy, Virginia, three of 17 from out there. A nice little dish here because he's in position. How about that? Little kiss by 5 0. Oh. Jack Lord would be proud of that, huh? 5 0. Goodness. They get out in numbers efficiently, and they're unselfish. Tough to counter. 18 points for Hansbro. Sen picks up his second foul. And already more field goals in the second half tonight than he had in the second half against Wake Forest. How about 13 free throw attempts already, too, for Hansbro? He initiates contact frequently and then gets hit. I mean, he's just this intelligent player. Goes at numbers. But he also out hustles and scraps people. Puts them at a disadvantage. And Scott lost it out of bounds. Largest lead of the night for the Tar Heels as Ed Davis comes in. Thompson will go to the bench. Not much of a fall off when they go to the bench, is there? No. Just that one time in the first half when Hansborough went out, things got a little muddled for them. Roy Williams uh, has to rely on that bench, though, and you've got youth on the bench, but it's good youth. You get a pair of McDonald's All-Americans and Larry Drew and Ed Davis. Davis missing there and send the rebound. And Ginyard getting healthy. He was walking around today. He was trying to get his ligaments stronger. He was on shoes that had a ball at the bottom. You notice that? Deani with a miss, hands go the rebound. Yeah, Ginyard's played in only three games. Has that sore left foot and after surgery in October to fix a stress fracture as Hansbro's going back to the line. Well, he doesn't mind the contact. He'd be a pretty good blocking back, wouldn't he? Scott picks up the foul, his second. I think you could put Hansbro just about any position that would draw blood on the football field and <laughs> he would go for it. A tight end kind of a body, doesn't he? 
He is now 12 of 14 at the free throw line tonight. He's shooting into the tuba section. That's not even disturbing him. They're shaking those babies up in the end zone. Scott picked up the foul as second. I got you, Tuba, he's saying. <laughs> now, Virginia's only attempted seven free throws. Hansbro has shot 15 in the game, but he's made 13 of them. Good defense there on Sen. Easy rebound for Davis. Uh, Hansbro bodies you out at distance to make it a tougher shot. Carolina outscoring Virginia 9-2 to so far in the half. Well, Hansbro begs great, too. I mean, there's polite begging and legitimate begging. He does it both. There's Green down the lane with that floater. Can't get the roll, but Davis kept it alive and gets another rebound after the Green miss. Great effort. Green for three. And Sen finally gets it for Virginia. I think the thing that was so impressive, Rafa, in just watching Carolina in warm-ups today and during the shoot-around, it, it's as if they were 2-0 as opposed to 0-2. No panic at all in the coaches or the players. Well, I think that's a tribute to the staff as well. You know, just, just coaching, let's get back to what we do best. The big thing was quicker decisions in the post, Passing the ball crisply, screening better. How about the runouts, though? Not bad in that area as well. No, nope. 21-point lead. Who's next? We'll tell you when we come back. To order.